thanks for coming. And um, yeah, I'd like to share, first of all, uh, one my personal story from July. Stick Ruslan has just uh, told you already that, uh, uh, yeah, we need to think uh, how uh, to present the information to the developers, to think about their needs, pains, and so on and so forth. For me, I've started to work with uh, Gelastic like six years ago, and I came without any experience. I'm not a developer, I'm not a technical person at all, and I had no idea what these people are talking about at the meetings. And um, that's why that was like months and even years of work for me to get to the point to understand not only to understand that we need to stand on, in the shoes of our customers, but already start implementing that, already start using that in practice. So uh, that's why today I'd like uh, to share this experience in a way with you and maybe help uh, in a way to start doing that as well. And this will be connected with one specific topic, not to make it uh, too wide. So yeah, uh, we need to understand the challenges, uh, what our customers are struggling with. And um, there are lots of statistics and also you're getting in touch with your clients and you already know that. And uh, uh, this is just something you need to use and you need to to grab. So first of all, uh, many SMBs, uh, they are considering that one of the biggest problems is data loss. And uh, um, many of them are not prepared for that and they are losing in that. And uh, after losing this data, they are just shut down. So this is a problem. Secondly, uh, this is of course downtime cost. Imagine that your e-commerce project and um, for example, we are selling some products during the Black Friday and suddenly something went wrong and your site is down. That's it. Your revenue is out of play. And this is not only the problem of the revenue that is going away, but also the problem of damaged reputation. And this is like risk number one for many industries nowadays. Of course, right now, all we are here in technical world and there are many already solutions for that. And one of them is uh, to use clustered solutions, to use highly available um, backend for your projects. In our case, this is like a scheme uh, for our site, for Gelastic site and also for Gelastic blog. So we have like uh, application servers that are scaling automatically and also some databases with uh, replication, master-slave replication. And we have like two replicas of this cluster one is hosted in the US, the other one is in Europe, so everything is synchronized. Cool. But, <laughs> there is always that but, we are, we are like experts in that. We have expertise, we know how to do that. Our dev guys are working on that like every day. But if we are talking about those e-commerce projects or other business people, for them this looks like that. So they have no idea how to deal with that, they have no idea how to manage this or even build this. So after that they understood, yeah, there is a problem, we need to solve it, and even they can understand in what way they should, it pro should solve this. So, but they just don't know how. So they go to the managed service, uh, ser services looking for them, and nowadays some giants like uh, Amazon, they understand that this is a huge market where they can get this money from people and they are offering such kind of services, something like managed databases or something like uh, managed WordPress cluster and in this case all these projects are automatically going to AWS infrastructure, not to your infrastructure. So in this way we are all losing. And why? Why should we do that? So why should we just lose these customers and uh, keep our infrastructure underutilized? Uh, while talking to some service providers, thanks God, I'm working in Gelastic and have lots of partners like that and uh, enjoy working with them. So uh, in most cases the answer will be, do you imagine how much work we need to do in order to implement managed services? So 
in a way, I do I understand this is a huge work, so you need like ops experts to do these clusters, uh, to, to build these clusters. Also, you need some time for uh, creation replicas of these clusters for each customer and as well some uh, basic templates expertise and time for customization because every client is unique of course we can have some template but these templates template will not work for each of them uh, extra support team members so of course you have some support teams and they in most cases work well but uh, uh, if you have like a new product line with managed services for the clusters you need some extra people because this is will be like a huge amount of work for them as well because every client will need some extra help in order to manage these uh, uh, services and marketing and sales why not so for sure you have a product you can enjoy it you can uh, know that this product is cool but it can be uh, nothing without selling that product so you will be just enjoying it inside the team so this is one of the problems sometimes i'm struggling with our team so yeah we made some feature we are cool but no one knows that so yeah um, but we can imagine that uh, some points from those mentioned can be already done and covered by someone else for you so by default you can get already those clustered solutions uh, some in installation of these solutions and as well some automatic provisioning some extra support team won't be that needed because the maintenance will be automatic and uh, of course marketing and sales tools those who are already working with Elastic, you know that we are trying to provide some materials to provide a stack of different business kits and different landings and uh, social media sources and so on and so forth and this is a really huge help it seems of course i won't be lying that <laughs> you will need the expertise and you will need time for customization because uh, in order to do a good business of good quality you need to involve yourself in that this is a part of your life but anyway with Gelastic, this part is already automated. Installation, deploy, scaling, replication, updates. So imagine that this part is just like out of your responsibility. You don't need to spend huge amount of time on the maintenance, support, on doing stuff around that. And this is like a turnkey technology pack, and this is a turnkey business line that you can just get started and go on the market. Uh, also, just wanted to highlight one more time what kind of clusters we have. So yeah, there are lots of them already prepackaged and they are open at the GitHub and you can just fork them, you can customize them, you can uh, work with them in any way and make your own due to the needs of your own customers. And, uh, sorry. and uh, for example, at a scalable WordPress cluster, I have already told about our site. We also use such kind of uh, stuff and as I'm totally involved in this process, I know how much uh, that works in a good way. So, because uh, developers don't need to make every time to make like a new copy of the site. They just push it, they install it just with one click. I even can do that myself. I couldn't imagine that in my previous life that some t someday I will be doing something with dockers or containers or what uh, and I will be pushing and deploying something but anyway yeah I do it sometimes and uh, making some uh, stuff with WordPress yeah and it's highly scalable and available anytime. At the scalable magenta I know that um, this market is uh, uh, pretty uh, attractive because uh, uh, many customers are willing to have such kind of solution and uh, if you have already at least some expertise you can target on this specific niche and you can build your business on this specific niche because uh, um, you will have like a already ready product with that uh, talking about talking about my scale to clustering uh, we have uh, a new package just recently launched and uh, it includes a set of different cluster solutions uh, of course uh, 
these are like master slave replication and in this case slaves are added automatically just uh, based on the uh, trigger and also simple master master replication so the customers don't need to make any configurations they just install it in one click or you can do it for your customers and manage this uh, without extra manual steps from your side also these are um, uh, these are group replication master my sql group replication with write and read writes so in this way read um, my sql uh, databases are added automatically and uh, the last one that I'd like to highlight, this is uh, uh, multi MySQL uh, group replication with uh, write, write totally through the whole cluster. I'm not going to, um, to just have time for the demo today uh, because uh, we really have some troubles with the internet connection today. So I, I don't want to spoil the whole mystery of my presentation. <laughs> but anyway, I have uh, uh, one point that will help you in that as well. So uh, as Bruno and Ruslan have already told that I have a kind of present for you at the end. So uh, this present will be like that. And I'm not really doing that all the time, but uh, I cleared up uh, my schedule for the next two weeks. And um, uh, these two weeks will be open for you guys. So after this session, you come, come to me and write on this table, write with this laptop. We are going to schedule some 45 minutes with you, with each of you who is interested. And I'm going to provide my private sessions. I'm going to provide you my private help on that. I'm going to uh, talk with you in order to clarify your objectives in order to getting such kind of customers, like uh, customers who need highly available clusters or they need uh, um, scalability more scalability. Uh, we also eliminate uh, the biggest challenge that you see right now in order to get these customers. What are you struggling with in order to attract these customers? And as well, we will create a kind of strategy that you can implement. So, um, of course, 45 minutes is not something that you can build the whole business on that. <laughs> That's sure. But this can be a good push. And uh, I'm really willing to help you with that. So just come to me after the session. Let's get in touch. I will uh, schedule the meeting right today. And uh, then we will have a private talk and a private discussion, conversation on these points. Okay, thank you. <laughs>